All right, so I want to insert your custom background. So first you just gotta find one and download it, obviously. Uh, and then you're gonna extract all the stuff. I have a little temporary folder here. We can just put this in. The extra graphics folders. You gotta make sure that you do not have these already in your extra graphics folder. If they already exist, you just gotta rename them. You gotta do a little extra step afterwards. In my case, these are free, so I could just insert them, but I will rename them anyways, just to show you what happens in case you are in the situation where these are already taken. I know that 8C and AD are empty for me as well, so I will rename them. those two files to these two. And then I'm gonna take these, put them in the extra graphics folder. There they are, beautiful. And I'm gonna open the test level that we downloaded, so the one with the Yoshi icon. Now it's gonna yell at us that we don't have the stuff inserted. Uh, very important, do not hit save unless you are on a safe level. Um, it can very well happen that you, for example, insert this as a level where you already built something and then when you click save you overwrite it and all your stuff is lost so make sure you always put this into level 25 in case it is on the level that you use you can do file save level to rom as you put level 25 in here and then hit ok to save it as level 25 and you also uncheck this one so the secondary entrances, in case you have them in your level, do not get transferred over. Alright, so next step. Now that we have it in a safe level, we can hit save. We go to here. If you already have, or if you had space for these files, you do not have to make this step. But you want to name these to the files that you inserted. Just make sure it's the same name. I inserted them as 8C and 8D. Um, right here. Those are the two that we inserted. Put them into here. Hit OK. As I said, you do not have to do this if you already... Uh, you already had space for them. Then you hit this button. We can insert extra graphics files. After that, go to map 16. Hit this button, import max 16 files from files. I can't speak, but that's fine. And you already see that right now it looks beautiful. And you could hit save and you would be done. That's a big issue. I have some tiles here right now. These tiles are used in other levels. So what do we do? We move this to a place that's empty. In this case, we moved it one screen further. So rather than uh, page 82, we use page 83. And now you see the background is messed up again, but we have to move it so it doesn't cost the space. So what we do to fix this? We go to the background, click the remap button here, and we added a whole page of offset, which is 256 tiles. So we move it 256 tiles and bada bing, it's still broken. So... Uh, I forget here. Oh. Ah, that's very important. Good that I made that mistake, so you don't have to make it. Let's put a minus 256 here to bring it back in the original state. So what I did is I put it in decimal numbers. You have to put it in hexadecimal, which would be 100. And bam, 100 would be one full page. We moved it one page down. 
So we add 100 in hexadecimal. And there's your background. Now you can hit save. And now this background is in level 25. Let's go to a different level. Let's say we want this one in level 26. So what we do to get this in the level that we want, we go to the level that we want. Let's go a bit further. 2A, sure. Background. Uh, it's this button. Copy background from... We want it from level 25. Okay. This looks like a nightmare, but don't worry. We go here. Enable bypass. We put in the same numbers that we inserted. 8C. 8D. Okay. Oh, you can already see where this is going. And now we import the palette from here. Make sure auto-enable custom palette is fun. Uh, is enabled. That's the right word. And then we... Uh, Insert the palette, and now we have it in the level that we want. Click save, done. And that's how you insert your backgrounds. Very important with the remapping that I showed. Whenever you already have a background that uses those tiles and would mess it up, you just move it down by, uh, I don't know how many screens. You just keep track of the amount of screens. Then you go here, remap, screen number, Let's say you moved it by two screens, you would add a two, then two zeros. And it would sh should use the right map 16 page in that case. I hope that was clear. I tried to do it fast. I still talk too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, that's it.